and call your attention to the consequences of inaction. <coughs> if things stay the same, as many predict they will in the General Assembly, we're looking at unprecedented cuts. In education alone, the conversation is that we'll have at least 13,000 uh, pink slips issued in the coming weeks for next fall's school year. Uh, many people say it could be far a higher number than that. We'll have significant layoffs in areas of human services or other providers. We'll have an erosion of investor confidence. If Illinois leaders cannot get themselves in the same room and resolve these massive issues through some actions, uh, such as those in the five pillars, uh, we're going to have an erosion of public confidence of our investors, and that means uh, higher prices for our bonds that we must issue over time for both our capital program and our operation. And certainly, we uh, stand to continue to lose public confidence. Those many citizens who have written into the website want to see action. It's clearly time for action in Illinois. There should be action on all the five pillars of recovery. Uh, many people have asked today, well, what is uh, the action on creating jobs? We've talked about that. Cutting costs, we've talked about that. Strategic borrowing, uh, we'll talk about that, and Director Vaught will provide some examples. Continued federal assistance, we need the M Medicaid match to be at the higher rate. We need Congress to realize that their support for, federal edu for public education continues to be important. Governor Quinn will talk about tomorrow uh, increased state revenues, one of the five pillars that's very, very important. Um, with that, I'd like to ask Director Vaught to talk about the differences between February 24th and the estimates that we put on the website and today's more final budget proposal. 